so, so how many did you manage to fit in your van alongside six 50 pound bags of chicken feed? Well, it's uh, time of the year to stock up on some food for these animals. Uh, I need to get some feed for the chickens and some hay for the goats. And when you live on a farm and don't have a truck, you use what you got. A minivan. So, uh, this could be interesting, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We've done it before. Um, I forget how many I got in it last time, but it definitely wasn't full. So we're going for maximum capacity this time. So feel free to leave a comment and give your guess of how many we can fit. Well, just got the feed, uh, six bags for now. Um, got to get these uh, chickens, get their rears in gear, literally, um, make up for some of that. But uh, I'm getting ready to head out and get some hay for the goats. Hopefully we'll get this all filled up back here and uh, we'll see how many we can fit. Let me see. Here's I want to get, kind of get them up in there and I can kind of try and yeah. nagle them. Let's see, we probably get two, four, six, we could probably at least get 10, maybe maybe 12 if we really squeeze them in here. Okay. Would be my guess. We got one. Well, got some hay. And uh find out how many we managed to fit in a little bit but um, one uh, perk of having a minivan keeps it dry it's uh, raining outside so you know if we didn't have a minivan just had a open top truck I would have had to get the tarp and all that stuff so but hey it's dry in a van um, so you can use what you got um, and Amanda I'm sure can test to this the goats uh, if, I, if I understand right are pretty picky eaters so they wouldn't have wanted it if it was wet and yucky so um, but yeah now we get to drive 40 minutes home well all that hay is still in the back of next van <laughs> instead of doing it on Saturday when it was somewhat mild temperatures we decided to wait and now it's what is it oh it doesn't say it's super cold like below 30 <laughs> the high today is 34 I think it's really really cold but you know such as it is. So anyways, Mike's going to be bringing the van over here to the side gate. I oh, know. He wants to try to bring it through the gate. Considering the track record of this gate, I'm not so sure it's a good idea. So we'll see what happens. But we got to get it unloaded and carted across the yard to the barn so we can get it all put away. Also, we never put a gate out here yet on the fence so we're gonna have to be handing bales over the fence to get out in here <laughs> life's adventures right okay we have this nice little table set up so mike can hand the bale over the fence onto the table and then i'll take it to the barn not sure how sturdy it's gonna be daisy's testing it for me here he be Guess he decided not to go through the gate, which I am cool with. All right, let the work begin.
fun over there. It's a jungle gym you can eat. Daisy, are you queen of the hay mountain? Are you queen of the hay mountain? What about you, Demelza? Can you get up there? Can you get up there, Demelza? You don't even know she's up there, do you? Well, we got them all in the barn. Now we just gotta get them all up in the loft. This part might be a little harder. It's a lot of lifting up. Are you on top of the mountain? Are you on the mountain? Demelza, you haven't climbed that at all. You gonna climb up there? <laughs> Don't jump up there, Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> you see her? What are you doing, Daisy? You trying to get in the other loft? Don't do it. <laughs> I love to climb. Now Demelza's climbing. Are you going up there where Daisy is? You gonna go see where Daisy is? Hey you. You coming down? Can't decide. You good girl. Let the fun begin, eh? Now one of the left is straw, and two on the right are what's left of the hay. They need to be in the front to use first. Hi. I think you can get it up to me. I'm the ones that are on top. Oh, well, it is way down. Oh, hold on. Got it. What are we doing with it? What are we doing? Get your work out for the day? Yep. But it's all done and we don't have to do it for a long time now. Define long time. Um, well, they've been going through about a bale a month, so that lasts till next fall, I think, maybe. We'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> and it didn't take hours. Hour. It wasn't a whole hour, was it? Probably close. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. Now we're stocked up. Whew. So, so, how many did you manage to fit in your van alongside six 50-pound bags of chicken feed? On top of six chicken bags, uh, got 12. 12 yeah. full-size bales. Didn't put one in the front seat. Probably could have got 13, but that's unlucky. <laughs> I th <laughs> unlucky. I think that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. A haul for a farm van. Yeah, you should see my van. It's probably covered, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you can see your breath still. 
Okay, another project on our to-do list is to get a goat door in the barn here so that we don't have to leave this big door open all the time. Hi. Um, for one, it lets in a lot more cold, obviously. And then also when it's raining, the wind usually blows from the south, so it blows right in the door and lets a lot of moisture in here, which is not really good for a barn. So we need to get a goat door on the side here. That will let the goats go in and out without having to leave the big door open. So. Are we set on it being <coughs> set on it being on the end? Well, you can't do it on the back because there's no fencing there. Do you want stalls? Yep. How's that work? Well, let's see. I would like to put a divider stall right here in the middle when the kidding time comes. Um, so I was thinking about having the goat door over here-ish on this side and then just the mom who's not leaving the barn because the babies can go on the left and then the others can go on the right so they can go in and out. Hi goats. Um, these are <clears throat> Excuse me, dust in my throat. <clears throat> These are abnormal size stud spaces. 16. So it makes it a little tricky. Is that what they are, 16? Oh, some of them. Not all of them. <laughs> so you notice this corner way. one, this corner one is skinny, and then this one's wide, and then the homemade one is wider. So it's kind of tricky. Good. But anyways, yeah, so a door on this side so the wind doesn't blow rain in. Was it good? What do you think? Does it go fit in between there when they're big and fat? Depends on the goat. Some don't get much fatter than Daisy is now, and some get like twice that wide. Some get really, really wide. It's unusual, but some do. Obviously two spaces would be plenty wide, even for the widest of goats. But I don't know how tricky that would be. Cause you also don't wanna mess with the structure of the wall either. <clears throat> What about like a one and a half? Can we do that? Might not be pretty. Like under the window-ish? Yeah, like to the, like, that space. Come show me. Here to there. Okay. We'd obviously put a support under this. Unfortunately, we'd lose this one as a support, but Hopefully this and that one being enough. Could you replace that short one with a full length one? Mm, yeah. <laughs> More work, but yeah. That way you'd have the full support there. Yeah, I mean, if you put one underneath there, it's gonna be a full support anyway, but whatever. I mean, I'm not a, what would you call that? A structural engineer, <laughs> but Sure. As long as the barn doesn't come down on our heads. <laughs> I don't think it will. <clears throat> okay. Now we just gotta make it happen at some point. <laughs> I don't know when some point is. Spring? <laughs> no, never mind the wind blowing, snow blowing in. I'm still out here.